Okay, this will be a quick video about the RC8X. I just got this maybe an hour or 30 minutes ago. The radio is already, uh, I mean the radio is already calibrated with the ESC. Everything's on a uh, factory set. Funny thing about this one, even though I turn on the radio once I turn on the ESC. You see that one? There's kind of, I don't know what's the wrong with this radio it's kind of weird but maybe there's a few adjustments i need to adjust but this video is basically about the speed latency of this radio i'm gonna be playing back several um, um slow motion video radio link against nb4 by fly sky mt44 from uh, sanwa and an old sanwa vintage mx3 fg this is a, I think this is gonna be their first two megahertz radio, I'm not sure, but this is a old one. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of reviews about this one already online, feature-wise. This has tons of feature, but uh, the, the only issue is I jumped the gun in buying this one just to check out the speed latency of its response. Looks good in this video, but let's see in slow motion. will be the fly sky <laughs> sorry i'm using the this radio uh, receiver and calibrated just stock hobby wing so no no glitch and let's test the speed By the way, I'm using a, um, I think, a generic receiver for the sound one. Display-wise, this radio is awesome. I mean, it looks great. It's it it feels great. It looks great. Plastic is kind of like it, the Sanwa radio. It's kind of like this one, but this is lighter. It's, I think it's more comfortable versus this radio. Maybe if I change the battery. But yeah, as far as the display, it looks great. The Noble looks kind of old-ish. 
but functional speed wise i'm to be honest I'm, this is going to be my initial take on this radio it's freaking slow it's i think this is a little bit faster this vintage sanwa it's kind of sad because everybody's talking about this radio i i was I basically believe them but you have to wait for a review who will test it's capable if you don't if you're not doing drug racing or uh, competitive racing i think the radio link will be a good overall radio i mean more flexible but for that price range you can basically enter to this price range of a sanwa it's uh, i mean it's fast but i'm not sure if it's faster than the Futab futaba 4 pm which i don't have i wish i have them so i can test it the only downside with the 4 pm it looks really cheap i mean the display that's the only issue okay thank you guys for watching and hope this is very informative because for me i i was so impressed with the looks of the radio and there's a few video but always they don't tell you how fast the response or the latency of this radio and maybe mine has a little issue because every time i start the unit it will start a little throttle or there's a power uh, kick on the esc and I, i'm not sure what's happening okay thank you guys for watching and hope you see you on the next one